You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Chair Price, the view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway. 
to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's... Weird. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's... Ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Uh oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. 
The only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said, R. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Tam straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. So you're a physician now. Last summer, I performed a one-woman Doctor Who homage entitled Weeping Angel. Wait, what? The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, want to listen?
bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes, I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day, I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! Actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? that you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. 
Looks like this one might actually be working. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Press got power, activate. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. 
That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with these two? If you want lunch, you're going to have to learn how to skin your own food like a man. But I don't know how to skin a bald eagle, Dad. You don't? What the hell are they <laughs> teaching you in school? Wow, that was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody. Right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble! Go get help! I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I, I, I already called 911. They, they should have an ambulance here any moment. In the meantime, they said to keep close watch on her. Like, turn all the way around and really focus. 
Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Thou shalt help those who help thine selves. You know who said that? Cod? Oh, word? I thought it was Benjamin Franklin. Oh, but that's be that's even better. Damn it! She's right. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. Here, you earn this. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Whoa. Hey, check this out.